Mr. Trouble never hangs around when he hears this mighty sound. Here I come to save the day. I don't know how you respond to something that is a, a, such a false depiction of what actually happened. Colonel McFarlane was contacted by one of the major Sunni sheikhs. Because of the surge, we were able to go out and protect that sheikh and others, and it began the Anbar awakening. I mean, that's just a matter of history. But let us return to our cheese case, already in progress, where this afternoon, Senator McCain tried to tell everyone why he was correct in rearranging the timeline of the surge, and everybody else but him was wrong. First of all, a surge is really a counterinsurgency strategy, and it's made up of a number of components. And this counterinsurgency was initiated to some degree by Colonel McFarland in Anbar province uh, relatively on his own. When I visited with him in December of 2006, he had already initiated that strategy in Ramadi by going in and clearing and holding in certain places. That is a counterinsurgency. And, uh, and uh, he told me at that time he believed that that strategy, which is, quote, the surge, uh, part of the surge, would be, uh, would be successful. So then, of course, uh, it was very clear that we needed it prior to that counterinsurgency. Prior to that, they had been going into places, killing people or not killing people, and then withdrawing. And the new counterinsurgency surge entailed going in and clearing and holding, which Colonel McFarland had already started doing. Yes, sir, when there is a wrong to right, Mighty Mouse will join the fight. But by his own admission, you'll recall, when it comes to the economy, McCain is not at his best. Uh, you know, I've got to tell you, McCain is the most disorganized, la lack of any knowledge whatsoever about economics. The real issue, as Pat said, is the whole banking system is falling apart. And Americans have got to understand that. Americans have got to understand that we are paying present-day retirees with the taxes paid by young workers in America today. And that's a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace, and it's got to be fixed. Senator, older workers' benefits have always, always been paid by the taxes put into the system by younger workers. And yet, you just hear this constant line complaining uh, we've sort of become a nation. So, Why? if he's saying we can pay for balancing the budget with all of the money we'll save by winning the war in Iraq, I'm left to wonder what that hundred years in Iraq, Iraq comment really meant. <laughs> and we're all left to wonder whether anybody other than John McCain really believes the math. Uh, he's uh, on this running for president, people. How can he be expected to remember crucial details about his own life? Also, his top economic advisor calls Americans a bunch of whiners for complaining about an economy that's only in a mental recession which he likened to mental depression, and the guy gets to keep his national co-chair position with the campaign. Also, one of McCain's other economic advisors tells women voters that McCain is just as upset as she is that insurance companies pay for Viagra but refuse to cover birth control, leaving McCain to squirm and stammer and attempt to leave his own body during a Q&A session on his campaign bus. I don't know what I... I voted against coverage of forcing health insurance companies to cover birth control in the past. Is that, uh, is that a familiar position? Is anyone out there? Anyone at all?
On Monday, McCain described Social Security as a total disgrace, not saying it merely needed to be fixed, but that, quote, we are paying present-day retirees with the taxes paid by young workers in America today. In other words, he called the entire premise of Social Security disgraceful. McCain made a joke about killing Iranian civilians by giving, giving them lung cancer. McCain conveniently ignored it when Iraqi officials, including the Prime Minister, called for the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Iraq, even though he'd said before that if the Iraqis wanted us to leave, we would leave. And if all that were not enough, he claimed to have a record with veterans organizations that he really doesn't have. He attacked Barack Obama for not voting on something he didn't vote on either, the Kyle Lieberman Amendment, and he promised to balance the budget by the end of his first term, with all the money he will have saved from winning the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. You know I give you everything I've got. Well, I mean, let's face it, you're not exactly normal, are you? We're not worrying at all, we're just listening for his call. Here I come to save the day, that means that Mighty Mouse is on the way.